Right James, welcome to East End Park. I'm an athletic manager, how does that sound? Great. Um, really over the moon to get it over the line. It went on to very late last night and there's been a lot of negotiations probably since certainly over the weekend and in the last couple of days and, and it's picked up pace and coming in. Now I've, I've played here, I've been here a lot and but seeing the the so-called inner sanctions and the, the home dressing rooms, all the, the kit room, the eating room and just the infrastructure here, the gym, everything we have here at, at Northern is is a place where I want to come and manage and be successful. So look, I'm, I'm delighted to be here and I can't wait to get started. You've obviously discussed things with David and Thomas, you'll have spoken to them, you'll have uh, heard about the plans that they've got for the club going forward as well. Is that another attraction for you? Yeah, and, I, and I'll be honest, I was... I had decided to take a little bit of time out of the game um, and do get a little bit of work in my knee done and, and assess what, what had happened. I'd come straight out of playing and into coaching as a very young manager, got relative success, getting promoted with Dundee and I needed a little break but when a club like Confirmland pops up and you sit down with, with David, with Thomas and, and they tell you and, and they go over just the plans for the club the base where we're going to end up hopefully very soon and already what's here forgetting all that but already what's here but then what's getting added and what what we're planning at this football club over the next two three four however many years then straight away that get the juices going and i was i was desperate i'll not lie i was desperate to get to get into this football club and and try and and help it achieve where i believe it should be but look we've got to be calm it's we're on the back of what has been a disastrous season. I don't think anybody can, can deny that. We're a club at the minute that's just a losing games of football, so we need to get back to being, a first and foremost, a team that wins games of football. I know that sounds very simple, but that's what we need to get back to first and foremost and then just move on from there. Do you feel like you've got a point to prove? Yes and no. I think that every manager has always got a point to prove, whether you are myself who is very young or I'm in no way, I don't want to take any way, no way am I comparing myself to Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp who are at the very very top of our game but they've got points to prove. Um, have I proved what I can do? I believe I have. I went into Dundee in very difficult circumstances. Covid struck, they had been relegated, there's stuff I can't go into but there were a lot where it was cutting back on stuff and and then with with that came along two huge clubs. Now budgets don't win your leagues, we know that. But two huge clubs coming into the championship in Dundee United and, and Hearts that kind of within a way they were it made the championship really difficult. As you know yourself, because you just were in it and you were fighting with Dundee at the time. Or us now we were in it, we were fighting with Dundee at the time and and to go back to a point to prove, well, I've proved a point I can get a team out of the, the championship, which as you seen last night, is very, very difficult. Now credit to Inverness, they took it to the second leg still in the game. And then last night they, they got to half time and then I think you seen the, the quality of Callum and his side shine through. Now last year we done the opposite and, and we done that to Comar or Dundee. That will change the we don't get worried about that. Um that changed last year and Dundee proved home and away that they could do that. So I've proved that point, I've proved I can manage a team and, and get a team promoted but I always want to continue to better myself, I want to improve again, I want to I want to make players better, that's something that I'm really big on, I want to make players better, I want to make the full feeling of the football club better, so there's a point to prove, you will be wondering can this manager come in, can, I'm not man against the old manager, I've got a lot of respect for, for John Hughes um, and it just didn't work for him in the last season but can can I come in, can I make you feel better about working for Dunfermline Football Club? Can I make Greeny feel better about working for Dunfermline Football Club? Can I make the fans that are coming in? And I've been here since a young age, with Livingston when this place was bouncing. Can we get the fans coming back feeling better about Dunfermline Football Club? So there's the points I've got to prove. You know, you mentioned it there, you know, we look around and we always say this, the infrastructure, you know, the fans, the plans going forward, but we find ourselves in League One deservedly mm -hmm. because last season was was so poor. 
Um, and it's not going to be an easy season in League One, is it? There's a lot of really good quality teams in that in that league. Far from an easy season. It's going to be a real, real tough season. As tough as last season, and we need to be prepared. People will look and say Dunfermline are too big a club to be in that league. No, you're not. You're in whatever league you're in. You're in because you deserve to be there. So that's that's where we are at the moment. Now, what we need to prove is that we can progress. And first and foremost, as I say, what do we do? We get a a real spirit back, we work hard, that's a given, and any players that have worked with me will say that, that's a given, we need to work hard. Um, we're doing that, working hard, winning games, that's how you get the spirit back, that's how you get ready that hangover, so to speak, from last season. And that's the aim, first and foremost, forget what we're going to do, where we're going to finish, all that kind of stuff. We need to get back to winning games of football, we need to do that quickly. You know, at Dundee you brought through a lot of younger players as well. Obviously there's a good crop of young players here at Dunfermline. Matty Todd obviously got a win that you were coming in the day because he was doing laps of the pitch. Um, you know, there's there's quite a, a decent set of young players here at Dunfermline and as you mentioned, that's that's something you want to do, improve players. No, I don't think Matty knew because no <laughs> many knew and what an attitude he's shown. Uh, you talk about first impressions and Great for him, he's in, he's and asked him why, he's had his holidays, he's desperate to get back to work, so brilliant, love that. Um, I love I love working with the younger players, and I've done that at Dundee, that was my first role, and it's a huge thank, thank you to Paul Hartley and Neil McCann for allowing me to do that. Um, and I think we've developed, I don't think I know, we've developed, we've gave nine debuts, this is up to February, nine debuts and 111 appearances out of those nine debuts, so... So that's good, um, but that's Dundee. Forget about that now. We need to now get these young Dunfermline players and working and going back to that facility. We've got a facility now where we can work, where we can be out in the afternoon, we can be developing these player games, taking it to a different level with the coaching. Because it's been tough with the pandemic for every club, but not just Dunfermline. Dundee, I experienced it, but the double sessions, the, the, the extra sessions on the pitch were where these young players can really develop their game and it's something I'm, I'm very passionate about, not just for Dunfermline Football Club but for Scottish football. I think we need to develop our own players and selfishly I want to develop them for Dunfermline Football Club with one, to get in our first team and then two, to go and have a fan fantastic career for themselves because there's nothing better when you see a young player that you've helped develop go and move on and have a fantastic career. A lot of managers will say that. Now that's what, that's what we're trying to do, that's what we're building on and, and as you say, there's a crop here that have got a real good chance, but there's a lot of hard work ahead of them. You know, you're literally just in the door in the last few minutes, but I'm guessing you've already looked at the squad, you'll have a fair idea of the players you want to keep, yeah. want to let go, that's just part of being a manager, I guess, and building your backroom staff as well, I guess. Yeah, some of them have, strangely enough, I've played with two, two of them. Hope I'm not being rude and missed any of them out, but I've played with, with Craig Whiten, uh, Matt Dundee, he picked up a terrible injury, so and I picked up one at the same time. We'd done rehab together. I played with Graham Dorans probably 17 years ago, um, and I've managed Graham Dorans. So I know, I know both of them, but there's other players in there I know as well. I know the squad. I've had since the discussions really took off. Maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've I've got right into it, and it's been not so much my homework. It's been my life. For the, the kids have been put to one side and the wife, and it's been my life for the last three or four days he, he getting to know this squad now I know a lot of them we played against each other for a couple of years in the championship so there's still, a, still some of them still here but yeah look I want to put my own stamp on it we we as a football club we want to have our own stamp and our own identity so to speak but again what comes with that is winning games you can have an identity but ultimately we need to win games of football um, and we need to work hard but yeah the backroom staff that is a work in progress and it's something that that will probably take a bit of time because there's, there's, there's candidates ideally I would love to have in the door with me just now but we've got to put a, pers a perspective on this, we're in League One, there's candidates in the Premier League and the Championship that I would love to, to have with me that, that, that might not be affordable um, to, to what we're trying to do but, but there's plenty there and, and we've got plenty of contacts and know-how and, and by the time the real stuff starts in, and I'm sure we'll be ready to go, but you know, I think just looking about the places, and it's, 
the pitch is looking good, the work's been done in the pitch, Matty's running about the, the pitch. I've had a look in the home dressing room for the first time, I've seen the the gym area, everything's exciting me. I'm excited to get started and I think you can tell that. Yeah, I was just going to say that, just to round things off, last five, ten minutes, you know, you're speaking with real enthusiasm about, you know, the size of the job. Uh, you're under no illusions, the size of the job, but you're excited to get started. Yeah, the, I love the size of the job. I've been in a similar size job, I would say, uh, getting a, a team that believed that they should be in the Premiership out of the Championship after they had their worst season ever, I believe. Um, that season got curtailed due to Covid and we would have made the playoffs, so who'd have, we didn't know what would have happened that season. Second season we made the playoffs and we, or we, I keep saying we, Dundee, it's, it's done firmly now, that's just habit, again that will change, trust me. Um, we went from everybody saying you've no chance and Hearts, Hearts will win the league, which we conceded we, in our own heads, we, we always gave that a go, but they were strong and, and they fairly won that league. But we knew when we were in those playoffs that they had a right good chance of getting up and we proved that and Dundee got up. They're back down now. Um, I lost my job in February, they're back down now. That's the past. My future now is not in Football Club and I'm just so excited to be one back in football, but back in football but a big club. But everybody keeps saying we're a big club, but we need to make it a big club again. How do we do that? We produce our young players. We work hard, we win games of football. That's a big thing. We're a club that's used to losing games of football. And I said that when I got the job at Dundee because they'd just been relegated. Any club that's been relegated, you're used to losing games of football. Now that's hard. That's hard mentally. And you're going home every night. I want to turn this into a club where everybody, not just the players, the staff, like the footballing staff, but the full staff in the, in the football club, the fans are going home a Saturday night, whenever we play, a Tuesday night they're going home. It might not be the right result all the time, but what they see is the effort, the determination. And and with that and the quality that we're going to bring in and put into the squad then I want to turn it into a, a club that's used to winning games of football again and that's the that's the number one target. Well we wish you all the best, James. Good luck. Cheers, thank you.